Yo guys, what is going on? It is Gale here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Genshin Impact video. And today we are here to react to the song Burning in the Embers full animated short. Now, of course, a full animated short for Genshin Impact is something we've been waiting for for a long, long, long time. In fact, I don't think we've gotten an animated short for Genshin since before the release of the game. Of course, somebody can correct me if I am wrong in the comment section down below, but I am pretty sure that this is the first animated short we have gotten since the release of the game. Of course, with Honkai Star Rail getting quite a few animated shorts since its release, and then of course, Honkai Impact 3rd regularly getting animated shorts. We've been waiting for one for Genshin Impact for quite some time now and finally getting one feels so good and I'm so excited to watch this. We have seven minutes of goodness in store for us so of course if you guys going to enjoy today's video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know what you guys thought of the animated short down below in the comment section below and of course let me know what you guys think about Arlequino's backstory because this animated short covers exactly that. Now, I have tried to keep myself away from all the spoilers on social media. In fact, I didn't even watch the teaser they dropped yesterday. All I know is that it does cover Arlequino's backstory, the original House of Hearth before she became the father, and of course the previous knave or the previous House of Hearth owner slash leader slash uh, commander or whatever you'd like to call it basically the uh the supervisor i suppose is the best way to put it as well potentially but yes i'm very excited to check this out and i'm very excited to see the differences between the previous house of hearth and of course arlequino's house of hearth now captions are on so hopefully that can help us especially if there are some words that, you know, we don't understand or we aren't able to understand exactly what they're trying to say. So hopefully subtitles will come in clutch for us when it comes to that. Anyways, let's click the play button and let's see what's in store for us. All right. Uh, let me just adjust the volume a little bit so that it's a little bit perfect for me when I'm listening to it. But yeah. World all alone. But here in the house of the hearth. Okay. You will grow up to be strong. Your goal is to learn, to compete, to defeat all your brothers and sisters oh. in battle, and become king. Where's Pear Ware? Didn't she want to- Pear Ware? Who's that? Excuse me, mother. She's doing a funeral for her spider. Oh, that's Arlequino. Maybe her curse is flaring up again. Pear Ware is actually Arlequino's real name. Cake. You you want some? Sure. Uh, okay. You must know spiders don't eat cake. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> oh the music. Oh no. There has to be some depressing story behind every all of this. Oh my days. Oh shit. Do mothers usually argue with their daughters? I heard that in Snezhnaya, colored light dances in the sky at night. When we're grown up, shall we go see it together? <laughs> Oof. <gasps> oh no. You will be a great king. Oh no. This is... Yeah, th this is what they were referring to at the start. You will defeat your brothers and sisters in battle to become king. King of the House of Earth. Thank you. Oh shit. And she must be the girl in the uh, key art as well. The, we, we were looking at Lenny, Fremenet, and uh, Lynette looking at a girl, right? 
I wonder if that's her. Claire V, I think that's her name, right? Oh, damn. Woo! I love the music change as well. Oh, Lumido spell. I should have pruned this flower long ago. Not waited till it wilts. How grotesque. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, damn, that animation. I'm gonna cap short head Arlequino you know, kinda cute, not gonna lie. Beautiful qualities. Sadly, they're all so useless. Woo! So I assume she's like the original mother, basically, because they called her mother, right? That's what uh, Arlequino was referring to earlier on. Days. Come on, come on. Get her. Stay away, don't fall asleep. The way is long and the gloom is deep. And there's gold in the heart. Stay <laughs> Surrender. Let your mother guide you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I have I have a theory now. I mean, some people probably already have this theory, but I think it's a pretty obvious one. But I'm kind of wanting to talk about it in a moment. Ooh. Holy shit. <laughs> that is sick. Oh wait, that's Fontaine, right? That has to be a location in Fontaine, 100%. She's in prison. Oh, yeah, she is the previous Harbinger. Okay, yeah, that... I mean, we kind of expected it because we knew the previous House of Hearth owner was... Or supervisor, or mother, I should say, in this case, was the knave, the previous knave. Oh, she realized she's in Shneznaya. Oh. Jester, Piero. I hereby pardon your crimes. Oh, shit. on you a new name. This title and its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear, my poor, mad, cursed knave. Wait, who's that? Wait, is that Fremenet? I thought that was good. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was Aventurine initially. <laughs> Come with me. I will raise you. I think that is Fremenet, yeah. Like a strict and unfeeling father. Yeah, they con confirmed it there. Woo! Oh, that was sick, man. That was absolutely sick, man. Hey, listen, I still maintain and we still need that Genshin anime, man. Shit would bang, bro. Um, but no, so much to break down there. So much to break down there, of course, right? So we obviously have the mother here. This is the previous uh harbinger slash previous um mother of the house of hearth of course right now the thing i was going to mention right is that especially towards the end and they kind of confirmed it there at the end with the strict and unfeeling father effectively what uh arlequino wants to do or prayer where as we now know her name is what she wants to do is basically create a house of hearth that is the exact opposite of the uh house of hearth this lady 
uh, wanted to build. Now, I don't remember her name. I don't think they mentioned her name here. I can't remember if they if we exactly know her name as well. If somebody knows her name, let me know in the comments. By the way, I would love to know um, exactly what her name is. Um, but if we go back here, right? Strict on unfeeling father. There we go. Um, this feels like she just wants to create an, a completely opposite house of hers so that she doesn't necessarily go through what the other or that the uh, kids that she raises doesn't go through or they don't go through what she did she had to alongside all of the other friends and brothers and sisters that she had of course Claire V for example who literally just you know died by Arlequino's hands because they had to fight each other to become king right um and it kind of also fits in with that idea as well, of course, right? I know a lot of people have been theorizing that Arlequino wants Linny to kill her, just like the previous king was killed by her, basically, right? The the previous mother was killed by her. So I, I wonder if we're going to see that storyline pan out, of course, uh, in more detail, of course, right? But I am also curious to see how Claire V is going to influence uh, the story in you know, version 4.6, of course, in Arlequino's own story quest, right? Because, well, she's probably dead, right? She's dead. And uh, I know in the trailer, we saw Fremenet or Linny telling uh, Fremenet that, you know, you, you're you trying to hide the thing that father has been trying to uh, find for so long, right? So I wonder if they managed to find maybe some documents, some, you know, spirit, ghost. I You, you don't know, right? Could be something like an Enconomia ghost or something, you know, somewhere around there, maybe off Claire V potentially, right? That would be quite interesting, but I, no, I'm not sure. I, I don't know that that would be very interesting. But yeah, it definitely feels like we're going in an opposite direction with this, uh, or Arlequino's going into an opposite direction to the previous Nave, of course, right? And um, it makes sense because if you compare the two, right, you could see in the original, right, uh, or, or the pre, uh, the original Nave, how she was behaving. She was acting like she's super caring. She's reading the stories to them, you know, very attentive, very smiley, you know, um, you know very uh family like right very very engaging just like a mother would you know generally when the uh, children are young right whereas the father is usually a little bit more strict and unfeeling and uh, you know it kind of stays away from the kids but obviously she rewards them uh, the father do does reward them at the end of the day um and of course is there for them to protect them no matter what and i think that's what she's trying to do is like she's trying to you know put emotion to the side but still be there for them in terms of being a protector in terms of allowing them to grow up normally or as normal as they can possibly be even though they are soldiers at the end of the day for Sneznaya, of course right this is something that we are uh, well aware of of course right so that is pretty cool i mean also i have to admit like i said the animation beautiful gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and um something i'm very very uh very very Excited to see more of, honestly. I would love to see more of. Also, I think there had to be... Uh, there was something to do with the Lumidos bell. I think maybe she's wearing... Yeah, no, she's wearing, I think, a Lumidos bell. Claire V, that is. So I wonder if that is the... that That's why that significance was there in the fight scene itself, right? Between Arlequino and the previous knave, right? But I'm also quite curious to see... Uh, I mean, I assume that because they had... Uh, Claire, Claire V versus Arlequino probably was the final fight before, you know, Arlequino went and killed the previous uh, uh, knave, right? I think that that might be, uh, that's the reason why we don't know what's happened to this girl also as well. The girl on the left, of course, right? So that's probably what it is, honestly. I think that's probably what it is. Now, one thing I wanted to check, I might have missed it entirely, is the, uh, uh, is the scene with the Harbingers. So we have Il Capitano on the right. <laughs> what have they done to Scaramouche? I didn't see Scaramouche properly. I was so focused on reading the subtitles as well as seeing, uh, you know, Piero. I didn't look in the right and left. Bro, what have they done to my boy Scaramouche, bro? My man is wearing shorts with a fur coat. <laughs> That is a that is a that that is a fashion statement in itself to be quite honest. Okay, but Il Capitano on the right, Senora on the right. So this seems to be the very early days of the Harbingers. But I wonder what where is I mean Dottore is probably go off doing his experiments and stuff. But yeah, it, I I do wonder it. So obviously we know Arlequino is the fourth Harbinger, but I assume she's probably like the fifth or sixth Harbinger to enter the scene, right? Um. We have Scaramouche already. We have Senor already. Il Capitano is already there. Um, 
I assume Colombina must have already been there. Maybe Sandrone as well. I, I know Tartaglia is one of the newer Harbingers, of course, right? Uh, I don't know about Pulcinella and P Pantalon, how, where they stand necessarily, right? But all of these are older Harbingers. These are Harbingers from effectively, you know, centuries ago, basically. Effectively, right? So... It's going to be quite interesting to see how they pan, this pans out, of course, as well. But yeah, no, I, I loved this. This was absolutely fantastic. The animation was gorgeous. The way they handled the storytelling as well kind of makes us feel for Arlequino as well. And uh, obviously, it does kind of portray her less in a negative light, I feel for sure, right? A lot of people were really hoping that she would be like this evil persona or, you know, this evil character. And... Th there is still a chance that she might not be like a perfect individual. She might have her flaws, but I don't think she's as pure evil as some people were hoping she would be. And that's the thing. I feel like none of the, I mean, outside of Dottore, <laughs> outside of Dottore and maybe a couple of the others, I feel like a lot of the Fatui members are pretty much just misguided individuals who have been led astray or by their situations you know senora with the whole situation with the Kanrea war and losing her, the love of her life of course right um and you know the reason why she was so mad against venti is because he, he didn't help at all right then we have scaramouche with right in may we have of course you know piero with the whole con with the whole of Kanrea basically and that whole situation right and then you have so many other situations as well like arlequinos as well that is possible that you know affected them negatively i think there are some pure evil Evil characters like Dottore who are just there to you know create and cause a little bit of madness and everything right but yeah no I think this is this has been brilliant honestly this is so so gorgeous I I need to learn a little bit more about this so of course if you guys have any further information that I can pro probably use and understand more feel free to let me know in the comment section down below but I do think that this is a place in Fontaine if I'm not mistaken the uh, place that they destroy or or like, you know, just blew all the hell out of. Um, I'm pretty sure I recognize this place even after it's destroyed. So maybe that might be where we do our summons for our like, you know, next week. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the animated short in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.